What up, y'all? It's Mike. It's Serena. What would you do if you had really noisy neighbors? What would you do? Go upstairs and tell them. And then what if they say? Up with cookies. What if they say? Depends where we are. If we're in the United States, be they're like, "Oh my God, I'm so sorry." But well, if it's in China, no. they'd be like, "I don't care about you." You, you think all neighbors are nice in the U.S.? That's not true. If you treat them with kindness, more so, people will be more respectful. There are jerks out there who are, who are like, "Why well, don't you know? I'll do what I want." There are jerks out there who are like yeah. that. What would you do? What would you do? Would you go on the offensive? No, I would never. You would never like, you would always turn the other cheek. What no, if it, I mean, if anything, I'll call the building manager. And no building manager. Where am I living then? You're living, <laughs> a, <laughs> you're living in a building where no one cares. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. No one cares. Turn up the music to drown out the sound. Turn on some white noise. I don't know. Okay, so you wouldn't try to like no. make their lives miserable. No, because I think they, they're, they're making my life miserable. I wouldn't want to do the same for them. Okay, well, you're a nice person. Yeah. Well, that's not what happened in China, yeah. in Xi'an. Uh, there's a gentleman. His last name was Zhao. His neighbors were really loud. Uh, he told him to, 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 you know, tone, tone it down. down. They refused. Nope. So what no. he did was... I think this is pretty ingenious, and I'll tell you this, one of my friends did something similar to this. The contraption looks really cool yeah, too. Yeah, I didn't even know you could buy this. I did not know you could buy Did you guys know you could buy a thumper? Like a building thumper? I didn't even know what a building thumper was. <laughs> is that a real thing? So he goes and buys this building thumper off yes. Tallball probably, or the Chinese version of yeah. Amazon. And, and he is basically, look at this, it's basically a thing that just like boom, 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 and thumps. Yeah. And he puts it on his ceiling yeah. and just leaves town for two days. Yeah. Turns it on on Friday, <laughs> left town. His upstairs neighbors got so mad, talked to the landlord, they yeah. couldn't do anything couldn't about do anything. it. No one could do anything. Police, police couldn't do anything. couldn't do anything about it. They had to wait till he gets back. Yeah, he came home. And, uh, and they just had to ask him to turn it off. Yeah. But you know what? I think that worked, okay, right? I think yeah. that, can you imagine like for a whole weekend, you're just like, your, your floor is shaking. I mean, that's like psychological torture. Yeah. Did you know repetitive music is a form of torture? Really? Yeah. Like when you want to torture someone uh -huh. and you just play the same song over and over uh -huh. and over again, after a while they go crazy. Yeah, I went through that during pledge season. Anyway, I, I, should, I don't think I'm supposed to talk about that. Anyway, that didn't, that didn't happen. I never listened to repetitive music during pledge season. Moving on, my friend did the same, sort of, sort of the same thing. Mm -hmm. He was in college and he was, uh, his neighbors were being really loud and they wouldn't tune it down for him. So what he did was, he, he just got a really loud alarm clock and he turned it on, left for the weekend. <laughs> Yeah, you just got a really alarm. I mean, that's annoying. Yeah. I mean, it's not like thump, thump, thump annoying, yeah. but that's still pretty annoying. It is. So you wouldn't do anything. I. This is why I'm glad I don't live in New York City. Yeah. This is why I'm so glad. Every single building I've lived in in New York City is paper thin walls, yeah. like paper thin walls. And like, there's always issue with neighbors. I could hear everything. And there's one time, I'm not going to talk about it. I'll tell, I mean, if you want to know, I'll tell you offline. I can't talk about it. I cannot talk about it. I'm sorry. But it's something I heard. It was horrendous. It was scarred me forever. And I cannot talk about it. I'm sorry. Okay, if you ever, if you meet me on the streets and you, ask, you remember this episode, you ask me about it, I will tell you. But I cannot talk about it on the show. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even brought it up. I'm sorry for bringing it up. That is all. I cannot talk about that anymore. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, I don't. I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. I think I would just move. I think eventually I would move. Because I mean, if your walls are that thin anyway, yeah. like they can, hear, you can hear them. They can hear you. I don't want people hearing what I do. No. Like I, you know, I, I have a nice speaker system that I love watching Independence Day on. I don't want people, you know, bothering me during my like weekly Silence. alien fix. Just saying, but let us know what you guys would do in this situation. Do you think this guy, did he go too far? Thanks for watching. See ya.